take my gold. Oh, he drops loads of pearls. Oh my god, we're getting so lucky, guys. I'm gonna be reacting to the most fakest Minecraft speedruns on the planet, and the speedruns get even funnier as the video goes on. So in this speedrun, the guy spawned in the ocean, and although it is possible, it's a very low chance of happening. And he starts swimming down, and below him was a ruined nether portal. What are the chances? In the chest was a max efficiency and unbreaking gold pickaxe. Honestly, I wish my luck was this good. And he starts swimming back over to the land and starts digging straight down. However, he puts in the chat, gotta go bathroom. Uh, how is this guy taking a toilet break in the middle of a speedrun? You know what? We'll let him off because a few minutes later, he comes straight back. However, you can see a very obvious cup in the recording. He continues mining down and mines straight into the nether. Uh, <laughs> how is this even possible? If I had to trust someone, it would not be this guy. Then he starts wondering about, but if you zoom in on one of the backgrounds, you'll see a random nether portal. How, how is he just, well, this guy is just baiting himself out at this point. Anyway, he finds a little bastion and immediately starts to go mine a bunch of netherrack and build straight over. However, he does get into a fight with the piglins, so immediately runs away. What a wuss. After he regenerates for a minute, he goes back up and all the pigmen are gone. They've just disappeared. Anyway, he looks in the chest and finds full netherite armor. So I start this up and the sacred Google says it's not possible. However, after this, he walks over to a very suspicious looking pigman and he trades his godly golden pickaxe with him and in return, he gets an elytra with a ton of rockets. This guy just puts dreams look to shame. Then the guy starts digging down and guess where he ends up. That's right, the end. <laughs> However, he does something quite weird. He doesn't go straight for the dragon. He goes the opposite way and just runs. All right, he just starts flying away. What an absolute w Wait, what's that? There is a random pirate ship in the middle of the void. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, inside was a max sharpness blaze rod. Okay, this guy has got to be taking the move. Then he goes back in and tries to kill the dragon midair. However, something magical happens. He dies. That's right, he dies. He got what he deserved. Thank goodness for that. This next speedrun is actually pretty normal compared to the other ones. You get some wood, craft some tools, and makes a house for some reason. I don't think this guy knows what a speedrun is, but these next series of events are so confusing. Even I struggle figuring out what happened. So he starts building up to max height, but when he reaches the top, he jumps off and he dies. However, when he spawns back in, he spawns in the nether. Uh, this makes no sense. He then walks a bit and he finds a chest. And in the chest was Iron Man's suitcase. It might sound a bit weird, but when you place it down, he becomes Iron Man. And this speedrun isn't even the weirdest one in this video. Then he goes to go and kill the end dragon. However, his suit ran out of juice and he died while flying. I would not want this guy saving me. So this speedrunner spawned in a village. Wait, what's that? Why is there a wither boss bar at the top of the screen? What is going on? Anyway, he started walking over to the village. Wait, there he is. Why is there just a random wither chilling in a village? You know, maybe he just lives there. Maybe he's just minding his own business. You never know, you never know. We don't judge you. Then he started to get some tools and also a stone pickaxe. Yes, this is important to the story. After this, he left the village and came across a ravine. As you do, he jumped down there. And lo and behold, he found some netherite in a ravine. Someone tell me, how is this possible? So then after this, he start mining it with a stone pickaxe. Look at this idiot over here. What's he doing? This is never gonna work. You've got to be kidding me. So you're telling me, when I get a stone pickaxe, I can't even break diamond. But this guy's over here breaking netherite. You never know, it could be a bug. We'll let him off this one. But one more strike, he's out. So he continued wandering around the cave and he came across a stronghold. And then what are you thinking? Miles, this is clearly fake. But you know what? It's possible to find the stronghold randomly in a cave. Although it's very hard to do. Then you find a portal and it was fully lit. Okay, again, it can happen. Although it is one in a trillion. But you know what? Who's counting? Wait, where is he going? The portal is behind you? Okay, this is definitely fake. Why is there just a random nether portal? There's no way this man found two end portals in the same stronghold. Okay, I can't back you on this one. When he entered the end, something was a bit off. That's right, the floor. For some reason, this dude made the floor bedrock instead of obsidian. I don't really see the reason behind this. Then he pushes over to the island using netherite. Mate, he's just clearly flexing at this point. Then he got to the towers. And as you can see, he ain't got no blocks. So how on earth is he going to get out of this one? Oh, come on. How is this even possible? So he built up to the very top and broke the crystal. We're not even going to speak about the fact that he took zero damage. Then a random bow just popped into his inventory. Then he destroyed all the crystals with his awful aim. And somehow he jumps off and takes zero fall damage. I don't know why I'm so surprised at this point. Then this man just gets an upgrade mid-battle. And after a very long five minutes, he finally kills the Ender Dragon. Now, we're going to massive tantrum about why this guy is completely fake. But I'm going to let him off just because of this man's amazing skin. So the player is looking towards the ground in this first speedrun. So we know it's fake. Then turns around to see a village with way too many villagers. That's kind of weird. Now, what do you think happens next? A, he kills the Iron Golem. Or B, takes all the hay bales. Well, if you chose one of those, you're completely wrong. He walks over to a very specific block and starts mining straight down, which is already going against the number one rule of Minecraft, never dink straight down. He then stumbles across a bunch of naturally spawned diamond blocks. However, he gets ambushed by zombies. But this guy, you know, he's got it covered. He pulls out a Thanos on them and made them all disappear in a single snap. He then pulls out a random diamond pickaxe from literally nowhere, don't know how that happened, and mines the diamond blocks. After this, he starts to build back up to the surface, but he ends up in a completely different location. He then starts walking past the village and towards a fully lit ruined portal. The chances 
this happening is impossible. Once he enters, he suddenly becomes psychic and starts mining straight down and finds a blaze spawner. You can tell this is fake because the entrance is fully blocked off. Also, if you're looking very closely, whenever you got hit by the blazes, he never got caught on fire for longer than a second. This shows they obviously just put fire protection onto his diamond armor when we weren't looking. After this, he gathers three blaze rods and decides to head back to the portal. But you may be thinking, why has he only got three blaze rods? Well, you'll see that in a few moments. He then goes back to the portal and he finds the enderman waiting right outside for him, so he goes to kill it. And even the golem tries to help out. Then he finally kills it. However, he doesn't drop any ender pearls. So he tries to hide the fact that he just spawned an ender pearl in, even though you can clearly see the cut between clips. Then he crafts one eye of ender and runs straight over to the blacksmith. He then does this weird ritual kind of stuff and chucks it straight into the lava. Then after this, a normal ender pearl is just summoned in his inventory, or that's what you think. Once he throws the ender pearl, something super weird happens. He teleports into a stronghold. That's right, Jim's got to step up his game. So the portal is already completely lit for him, obviously, so he jumps straight into it. Once he arrives, all the crystals are already destroyed for him. Could this be a sign of hero blind? I don't think so. However, he is able to one-shot the dragon, which is a very weird thing to do. Honestly, if I was making a team, I'd want this guy on it. So for this final speedrun, he spawned in a desert. Okay, how did that get there? So there's a long footpath leading all the way to a random button. Okay, what do you do if you see a random button? Okay, never mind. This is why you don't press random buttons. You go to heaven. Wait, why is there a random floating island in the sky? Okay, I have zero idea of what's going on right now. So once he gets up there, he lands underneath a tree. Not on top of a tree, underneath. And there's also a chest there. So in the chest was his ticket back down, maxed out feather falling boots. This guy is so lucky. Wait, what am I saying? This is obviously fake. Then he jumps back down to planet Earth and walks over to a random tree. Then he turns into Alice in Wonderland and falls down a massive rabbit hole. Luckily, he still had those boots on, otherwise he would be toast. He looks upon the chest and inside was a shulker. And inside the shulker was just goodness. I'm talking enchanted armor, enchanted tools, enchanted food, you name it, he's enchanted it. Then he puts on his shiny new armor. However, I realize he got no pickaxe. So how is he gonna get out of this situation? Okay, never mind. He might as well go and just use his bare knuckles against solid stone to get out. So then he continues strict mining and wait, what is this? This man found the stronghold from all those fake speed and thumbnails. And after this, he walks up to the diamond portal and his entire screen starts shaking. It's like he's in the middle of an earthquake, but I think he's just trying to hide the fact that he just cut between scenes. You know what? That's smart. I'll give him an extra point for that. So then the portal lights up and he jumps through the portal and lands in the end. Okay, what's going on? Why is there just a random wither boss by the top? Has the wither just jumped in the end of the dragon and took his place? Also, I'm not going to talk about the fact that this guy has now just got 64 levels by going through the portal. Honestly, that portal was some random portal. Then he started to bridge over to the bedrock and God knows how he got his hands on that. And he wandered around for a bit. Okay, why is it like that? And it looks like God just took a massive chunk out of the map. Anyway, he goes over to the wither and looks him dead in the eye and shot him once with an arrow and uh, he's dead. Not a fair play to him. Then he runs over to the portal to finish the speedrun. However, he realizes the portal only lights up once the end the dragon dies. He's literally stuck there for all eternity. Or I mean, he could just go and jump off the edge and respawn spawn again. Simple as that. Happy days.